I recently made a fish tank using Lucky Bamboo for my Dumbo Beta Cosmo. Do you think he's going to like it? Make sure to keep watching. I love using white sand in my tanks because it makes for a crisp, clean look. Let's create a space in the center of our tank where we're going to plant our bamboo. This aquatic soil will help to promote plant growth and give our bamboo the nutrients they need to thrive in our setup. Let's add a final layer of white sand to top it off. Carefully rake it smooth to avoid mixing the two substrates. Cosmo has arrived. Dumbo betas are known for their enlarged pectoral fins that look like large elephant ears on either side of their head. Let's give him a snack and get back to setting up his new tank. These here are Easter Island statues. They're fish safe and going to be a nice addition to our tank. Let's place them securely in the sand in a staggered formation. It's time to add in our lucky bamboo. I love using this plant in my setups. They're both beautiful and functional by helping to lower the levels of nitrates in your fish tank. Be sure to keep the leaves above water. This will prevent the plant from rotting while submerged in the tank. A lot of you have asked how these plants fare in my setup. I've had Lucky Bamboo submerged for longer than a year and they're doing great. Let's cover the roots with white sand to complete the look. These slate rocks are going to be perfect for creating a pathway throughout the fish tank. Let's connect them to the statues. Cosmo is going to have its own little zen garden. Let's add a few additional plants to the tank. This stem plant and these anubias will provide great coverage for our fish. Using live plants in your setup provides a lot of natural benefits, like removing waste and oxygenating the water. These are all low light plants and will require minimal care. No need for CO2 or strong lighting here. It's time to spray it down. I always get asked why I spray down my tanks with water before filling them up. Misting the live plants will help to keep them both moist and happy while we prepare to fill up the tank. Did you know that Lucky Bamboo isn't actually bamboo? It's actually a species of the Dracaena family. We're almost there. By using a tube, we're able to control the speed of the water when filling up the tank. This is my favorite part. Doesn't it just look so satisfying? Betas are tropical fish and require a heater set to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And don't forget your filter. This will help to clean the water of debris, remove the toxic buildup of ammonia and nitrates, and aerate the water so your fish can breathe. Now we wait. Fish tanks can take anywhere from two to four weeks to cycle. This refers to establishing beneficial bacteria that regulates the nitrogen cycle in your tank. These floating plants will help to reduce the levels of nitrates in our tank. It's finally time to add Cosmo to his new home. He's been patiently waiting and is now ready for his Zen Garden Oasis. Here he goes! Look, he's exploring his way through the lucky bamboo. He loves all the coverage from the plants in his tank. It's time for his favorite snack. These are bloodworms. You can get these from your local fish shop or online. Be sure to feed your beta a varied diet of high quality pellets and snacks like these guys. Thanks for watching.